It's lit. Hi, everyone. Hello. We are live. Please tell me all the sounds are working. Okay, so we got that one. We got that one. One of you guys speak. Hello. 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 Perfect. Hello. Everything is working. Hello, everyone. We are back with episode one of VTD and D. We're finished with the prologue, and now we're here for some back to school shopping. Everyone's oh favorite my activity. God. Um, my God, I did it. You, you, oh, wait, you did it? Did you fix it? I did it. Oh, my stars and gardens, it's a furry twink. You are right. There uh, are furry you, twinks here. Fuck you, cave. You can't stay, but hope you have a good day. Thanks, Silver. Uh, welcome in, everyone that's here. We are joined by a new face today. How exciting. Gonna strangle fuck cave one day, I swear. How exciting. Very <laughs> yes. Much yes. Much wow. Um, Hello there. Oh, I, wait, I don't here. think I you should, should have strangle. Some... Uh, I don't think you should strangle cave troll though. So uh, as we uh, open up, or would anyone like to summarize the prologue? The the, the fuck um, around and find out that was the prologue. So uh, also all of us were kind of brought from our own different world to uh, attend this magical college. Is it so called Strixhaven? Or is it the uh, new no, name? No, here? no, no, no. It's it's the it's the. Um, Shit. Oh, it's a uh, Fizzman, Fizzman something? No, no, it, it's Tamiol's. How Tamiol. dare you, how dare you make me question myself? <laughs> Fuck. Um, so yeah, all of us were brought from our own world to kind of attend this magical college. Um, I'll go to Scott on the list. I was brought from a industrial society, uh, industrial, um, kind of city after I was kicked out of my previous school. Uh, my, uh, grand, uh, my, my, uh, my, uh, sorry, our names, like, mixed around with our character names. Grando, who was playing Rakan was uh, this preacher, um, this nature preacher that was brought in. Um, Asher was this young prince who was brought in. Sev was this um, poor um, um, fish girl that was um, brought in. And uh, we kind of grouped together. We um, became friends after we beat up a bully in a party, at a party. Then we solved a bunch of puzzles together. We um, attended some tournaments. I threw bees at a bard's face and made my own. <laughs> I, I made this poor bard think that he was gonna die. <laughs> um, yeah, we all had like great, great times. We won our matches. Then we um chased down a dragon. So found a loophole for that. And this um, grabbed her dragon boyfriend and this called that a dragon. And then we slayed a giant gar gargoyle in the uh, square. And oh, obtained cool. a gremlin. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and obtained this little freak that will probably try to eat me one day because she thinks I'm Harson Heifer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, um, gremlin aside, uh, yes, and we pick up the next, well, not the next day, you know, a little time has passed, they've gotten everything, everything cleaned up, everything has been sorted since the gargoyle attack, the elementals have not been heard from since, everything is wild and free, and of course, you know, Everyone needs a little back-to-school shopping now and then. Everyone, ever, you know, you, you gotta get your supplies. So. <coughs> oh, sorry, my bad. <coughs> okay, I died. Um, we move. move to a little open-air market. It's my boy. Open you air. You guys are free to uh, drag yourself onto the board. Um... I will make Rakan the, the biblically accurate size. <laughs> I miss I miss big Leopold. I will make For what, uh your what your, your gremlin biblically accurate. Oh god. Wait, should, oh yeah, make me biblically oh, accurate wait, too, here, please. I gotta I gotta size it up what no, not that much. Hold up with just a second. There we go. And you're shorter than the gremlin. Yep. <gasps> Wait, so how do you uh, bring tokens in again? Uh, you just um, go to the magical book and you, just kind of, you literally just like drag and drop your, your character sheet drag on there. Drop. There we there go. go. Alright, there we go. Biblically accurate. Rose, thank you for the hydrate, thank you for the sippies. I will make sure to do that. Everyone in the party, hydrate. Our there chat cares There's about us. All right. I have a non-alcoholic beer. I have Pepsi. I have sake. Yo, that sounds like all of you are doing like the opposite 
of hydration. <laughs> this is hydration at its finest. You know, call it black because it tastes like you're running out of an old tube sock. And another thing, man, don't call me Shirley. I'll, I'll, I'll take some Pepsi and water. Well, no, right. no, 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 not the Pepsi water. <laughs> I was gonna name my character Pepsi Water, but they didn't. Let's have some Hi. Pepsi. Yeah, get some milk. All right. Bill. You mean pilk, right? Pilk, yeah. I have never tried that. It actually tastes like a really depressed rip your float. <laughs> well, yes, because it's. It, it, it tastes it's like a soda. rip your float that and its that's wife left. A waifu, the waifu life. Ah, uh, yes. I cast power word depre or uh, no, not power depression. word. Uh, I I cast command depression on your root beer float. It's now pilk. <laughs> well, on that note, let's get started. Cause I don't want to know where this is going. That's already cursed enough. Um, <laughs> what command where's... depression? Wait, where's our boy? Where's our uh, himbo? Where is the himbo? I still can't believe I only know for Asher's character is himbo he prince is... with culture shock. He is himbo. fixed. He's fixed. He you is fixed him. He is. He is fixed. Yes. Mercury. Yay. He is... I was is. able to go into the source and remove everything. The source. All right. I.e., if you if you ever make a mistake and you wish to change stuff, you don't go into character, man, sir. You hit the giant cog next to the bio and everything, and then it will give you the source code for the, uh, well, essentially what's the source code for the character sheet. <laughs> Good to know. Neat. And as we open up, our main party has just arrived. Um, you're surrounded by familiar faces, some new faces, obviously. And um, would you all like to describe yourselves? Uh, Lumi, we'll get to you in a second. You're not here yet. Like, you are, but you're not. You, we'll, you, you'll see. You'll see. It's fine. Spotlight. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, first, I feel like Leopold always is kind of, like, is like, excited to go anywhere, so he'll be, like, kind of in the front, because he likes to see new things. You'll see a... a set, oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot. Leopold. Foot, Leopold, or Leo. Everyone just calls him Leo. Mm -hmm. A three foot five inch, but only really like two foot seven, because if you don't count the ears, he's two foot seven. Haragon, that's like pretty actually well dressed, um, but he, he looks like he's um like he's like a kid in a candy store. He likes to see like new things, and yeah, he knows like a little finch with a little like um, bow on it, uh, resting on his shoulder. But he's like yeah, mm -hmm. he's like super small. Small, <laughs> I can see. <laughs> It's biblically accurate token. Can I, I mean, functionally speaking, every single person in this party can actually pick him up without suffering any kind of movement. <laughs> like I don't know. Mm. Set, well, yeah, probably. So, um, I was gonna say I don't know what Zev's strength score is, but you know, I mm -hmm. believe Juliet can do it. Yeah. If not, if not by strength, by pure by enthusiasm accident, enthusiasm alone. By act, mm -hmm. she does it by accident. Um, yeah. And then, who would be next, uh, walking up? Mm. I feel like by f by complete and total, like, lack of her own will to do so, Rakan, because she's trying to keep the Chaos Gremlin in check, too. Which one? The, a the literal Chaos Gremlin. The literal, like, Sin of Sloth. <laughs> and Gluttony. Don't forget gluttony. the Gluttony. Mostly Gluttony. Mostly gluttony. All about that gluttony. The literal sin of gluttony. Alright, uh, so, uh, uh Lumi, uh, <laughs> as, as you watch this rabbit walk up, you also see, um, behind them, uh, a small sort of, uh, almost half-dragon looking elf, uh, very short, you know, about four foot, six inches tall, um, she has kind of uh, messy hair and tattered clothing right now, and she rides atop a large figure. Oh, what Rakan, is go ahead and introduce yourself. So, uh, you see this, like, towering uh, uh, entity with a long, like, ashen-colored, like, mane of hair. 
Mm -hmm. And yet she seems just so done already. Mm -hmm. Having to make sure that the half dragon elf thing behaves herself. She's just like exasperated. Uh, she also has a she also has a, a colorful bunting, uh, bunting, like flying on her uh, on her shoulder, mm. like like just sitting on her shoulder. Yeah, look at it. The bunting. It's a really <laughs> good bird. The cool. bunting is a great bird. And Seems last cool, but not least, ah! they are followed by... Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> the, oh, literally no. the worst time to disappear. Come back, come back. Oh, oh no. no. Hold up, let me do the ritual to summon him. Jingle, 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 jingle. No. Asher, if you come back, I'll put the leash on. Wait, isn't it the other way around? No, no, no. You, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Never mind, it didn't work. Asher, um, Seth is about to do a southern accent. I would have laughed if he immediately joined. <laughs> I would have died. Um, hey, hey, darling there, Asher. How you doing? Well, howdy, Asher. How you doing? Everyone do southern accents to summon him. No, wait, it worked. Y'all, y'all, you summoned him. Told you. Told you. <laughs> Ash, would you please describe your character as you follow Rakan? I apologize. Rakan? I think my driver's just updated because everything went out for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> we may have noticed. Um, Zach. <laughs> uh, Zach follows forward. He's just, uh, he's, he's a unassuming human. He's in, uh, his, he's in his normal attire right now. Just about his, like, his shoulder length hair. You know, he's just your normal everyday looking human. It's just that he has, like, this, um, he carries himself a little bit more. He's, like, nobility, but about that, he's got not, he doesn't got anything, like, stand out about him right now. He's just here, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Boy. Amongst this yeah, band of merry this. misfits walking up, uh, <laughs> these these four in particular seem to stand out to you, um, Ecclesia. Uh, you notice saw... that uh, everyone's giving them a bit of a a bit of a berth, like a wide berth, as uh, it seems uh, they have a reputation. Because wherever they go, it seems like a little bit of chaos might follow, so people are keeping their distance. Not too big of a distance. In fact, some people are watching in awe, even. Um, but they are—they aren't—they aren't getting too too close. You know, there may be one of them who uh, accidentally melted someone. What? When was that? However, they're not here right now. Yeah. They seem we to be always give people high fives though all the time. But you have you have heard of this group since you got here uh, a couple days well, ago. So, so those are the rumors I've heard. Um, let's all see. The Amongst way, the rumors you've one. heard, you've heard <laughs> about um, you've heard from a certain green cat boy that there's this really <laughs> cute bunny in the group uh, that is uh, surprisingly good at what he does. Uh. Um, you know, you've heard about the little gremlin, you've heard about the fish that accidentally melted people. Helios, thank you for the hydrate. Uh, everyone take some sippies. Uh, right. you've heard, you've heard about, uh, a pretty blonde boy. That, that, that's all you've heard. Mm. You've just heard he's there. And then, <laughs> um, you also heard about one of them who has a gun. However, he doesn't seem to be around and, uh, no one's seen him for a little while. Hmm. I see. So there's no rumors about Rakan. I'm oh, sure also, he's very famous you haven't, about that. You haven't heard any rumors about Rakan, but you've seen Rakan around. Like, you know, she does kind of stand out amongst the most of the students. I mean, don't oh. get me wrong. There are other tall students. Rakan is by far not the tallest. Uh, there may be one on this map that is 12 feet tall. Mm -hmm. Uh... 
Rakan, but... Rakan is the half dragon, right? No. Rakan or... is the the uh Demon Katana Rook. Rakan Katana. is the one that started a revolution in her house to kick someone out. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Is, is Rattan the awesome. one with the bird? Yes. 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 Okay, okay. Both, two, both of them have birds, uh, the, the, but Rakan has a bird in her icon. The elven demon <laughs> half-dragon thing that sits on Rakan's head right now is, uh, is Belf. You've heard I that, uh, Belf can eat just about anything. I just imagine I Belf, you know, like, how, like, um, like, dads will, like, <laughs> let their kids kind of, like, like, you know, like, um... Like kind of like use like their shoulders like as, as a saddle kind of. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Uh huh. To... Yeah, yeah. Um... That's how I imagine like Bell is like riding Rakan right now and is using. Belf like, is uh, using Rakan's horns to direct. Rakan. Yeah, he has like steering wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking ratatouille <laughs> over here. <laughs> Reluctantly, she agrees because, well, if this is how she's going to behave, if this is how she keeps herself behaved. Might as well. <clears throat> and uh yeah. So you have you have seen the party. Do you wish to interact? What do you do? I wish to interact. Interact uh, Let's see. I mean there's a bunny. <laughs> there there's is a bunny. There, there is in fact there a bunny. A bunny. <laughs> okay, so Asalcia, um her general image well she um she has a long sword on her belt and she also has some some clothes that is how would you describe it it's like a it's almost like a a dress almost like an armor take top kind of looks like like uh uh-huh it's 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 almost like uh i'm not sure how to describe it well but it's all clothes basically it's all clothes, like padded clothes and stuff. Mm. And, um. And she is 5'6 with ashen hair, hazel eyes, and, uh. She starts approaching the group. And, um. She was at the shop buying some like calligraphy supplies but like she's just holding it and say like hello how how are you hello hello mm -hmm. he's like, probably looking knowing Leopold he's probably looking at potion stuff or something like that like some kind of weird potion magic stuff, stuff? um uh, and you'll like turn around and like you know wave wave he's uh, like belt. i'm like i'm never i've never seen a uh, bunny person before? Oh, I'm a Harrigan, actually. Uh, we're more native to, um... Even in my own world, we're actually kind of rare. We're more native to the Fey Wonder. Or Fey Wilds. Wonder. Interesting. Animals in my world don't even talk. Well, I'm not an animal. I'm a person. Oh, a person. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not an animal because I got these, and like, he brings all his like thumbs and kind of wiggles his thumb around. Uh huh. <laughs> the delicious beans. The forbidden beans. I, see, uh, like, I feel like that's what Bell is saying. Yep, Belf over here. The forbidden <laughs> beans. The <laughs> Zach's just going to look up to Belf and be like, quiet, you. But Leo will, like, will kind of like, like Leo will actually like, come up to her and like get on his like, tippy toes and shake her hand. Mm -hmm. Also, well, Zach, I should make me a deck save. Huh? Boy. Just, just Good luck. you, you two, you two do that. Don't worry about what's happening in the background. Sure. Okay. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, there you go. Let me, let me get a deck save going. No, you're fine. You're fine. You don't have to. Just Zach. I don't know why I did twice. I'm adding a D4. I'm using my reaction to add a D4 to that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, the rest, the rest of you. <laughs> only Zacharias needed to. Oh, I thought you said both of you, sir. No, no, just just Sicarius. No, she, uh, Michael said both of you keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry oh. about what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, was that both of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? Uh, Zacharius, there's now a belf on your head. Shit, shit. Oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, Leo's actually been, like, 
like seeing this start to run over to this table to grab food. Oi. You're just stealing this man's food. <laughs> he uh, uh <laughs> he looks. Uh. He just looks at you like, excuse me, <laughs> the fuck? I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. Okay. I'll get a new one. <laughs> like, as, wait, what's exactly happening to Zach right now? Uh, Zach is, uh, well, okay, Belf is, like, on Zach, like, riding, riding on, around his head, kind of like a jockey from Left 4 Dead 2. Um, just like, how dare you tell something as great as I to hush? And, yeah, uh, was going on is... about, going on about the nobility of, of demons and sins <laughs> and such. Uh... Leo's gonna grab like a sandwich here and use Mage Hand to kind of like hover the like the sandwich in the air in front of Bell. Belf freezes, and is suddenly uh, uh, jumping down. for a sandwich. I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna like have like <laughs> one foot above like sh as she can reach, like literally like holding above her as like calm, like look, look, look. You can have it. Just calm down, calm down. Zach's going to take the opportunity. If you wish to spout about nobility, then maybe don't act like a child, regardless, and then you can have the sandwich. Uh, as they climb down, I could eat your cold. soul. It's a turkey. May I have cold? the sandwich oh, now? You like toss it to Bell, and then he's gonna go back to this guy and like um give him how much much <laughs> money it costs to get a new sandwich. Yeah, yeah. He 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 was he was about to bite into the sandwich as you stole it. Yeah. I want this to be a thing where we always constantly steal this one specific person's sandwich just before I he can buy it. He will, he will <laughs> like, murder you with it. My like, cabbages! <laughs> my like exactly. cabbages! Yeah, I, my uh, cabbages! My I sandwich! I apologize and um, give him this, like, the money for the sandwich back. And he'll he'll head over to the, to the food area and get a new sandwich before heading back. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, that one's a little, uh, nippy. I see. Well, after after seeing all that, um, I guess I should introduce myself, right? Yeah. My my name is Aselsia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Aselsia. It's it, Leopold Kempinski. He does a little his like little bow. Mhm. Mm and Rakan. It's a pleasure. Rakan. Rakan. Zakari. Zakari. And Leopold. Hello there. I'm Just pretty Minecraft nervous. eating noises uh, in the background. Yeah. <laughs> eating noise. Uh, you so... sound like a love for dead, like zombie eating. <laughs> Michael. Yeah. I'm gonna try and see if I can't find a gift to send to see imagine what they look like. What, for Belf? Yes. Belf's okay. I do have an, a reference. Okay, if you want a reference, I will send it. But no, I, no, I am for, gonna draw them once I get uh, my tab, a new tablet. For the, I see the um, we can see the um, um like sketchpad. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting new art because I need to get updated gender bent art because that was when Belf was a dude. Uh, I imagine that that Belf is eating the sandwich like this. <laughs> <laughs> like Cookie Monster. Yeah. <laughs> It's from, um... I'm thinking of Blitz on the last episode. Oof. For reference, this is Belf's body type. Like, th this is... This is what Belf is gonna be based oh! off of. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Wait, so I gotta go back. I gotta jump again. Eh? Awooga, awooga. Like where? Here, here, I'll send it. So, for reference of about what Belf is going to look like, like, it'll be different hair and stuff, but, like, for basic body type reference and, like, uh, chaotic energy-ness. Oh, Rebecca. Ah. Okay. I'm not surprised you're a Rebecca guy. Mm -hmm. Ash. I love the gremlin who shoots shotguns. The gremlins. That's literally the main reason. He has shotguns. But yeah, nice to meet you, Excelsior. I keep, yeah. I keep, I keep on almost saying Excelsior. Excelsior. <laughs> you see, I am, I'm the special kind of unable to read where I thought that said Ecclesia. So. Mm. Nice to meet you, Excelsior. No, Excelsior. So, what are you guys? 
What are you guys doing at the market today? Yeah, we're just doing some window shopping, see if we can get and pick something up. Oh, can I join? Of course, of course. I've already, I've already picked out my things. What do you got? Uh, I want to go buy some more calligraphy tools, some some more ink and better brushes, oh, and stuff like that. Oh, for the Leo. pre existing party, for the ones that yeah. were already here, you were told to meet Torin here, or to of meet course. him at the middle of the festival because he has a gift for you all. If you say that loud enough, I think Sev will get here. That is true. Sev, <laughs> your sugar daddy's coming here. Sev, the the. The, the demigod who has you as his chosen one is here. Leo's Damn, seen a work. chance to flex a, a weird ability that he has that he never gets to show off properly. From a subclass, Leo's gonna like wave his hand a little and you see it do a little uh, fountain pen appear out of his hand. And like he's gonna like um... Like kinda write his name on like on the ground and like... But like it's like kinda magically glowing as he oh. uses my um... Fuck, what's it called again? Because I never get to use this thing. My wizardly, uh, my wizardly quill. Wizardly quill. As I could, as for my stuff class, I get to summon a, a quill with uh, a pen with infinite ink, and just get to write anything I want. That is so amazing. <laughs> and he's like, he kind of like slides his hand over it as it disappears. Mm -mm. Wait, wait, who? Uh, which character did this? Leo. Leo, yeah. yeah. Leo. I can do my weird wizardry stuff. The Benunu. I just did an awe. Sure. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, pretty neat. So, what's your, um, like, everyone here has, like, their own little, um, you know, I'm the magic boy. Ash, I mean, I keep on Zach here is, like, our, mad, our night boy, but apparently can do magic and tell monsters what to do. Interesting. And Rakan's our nature lover. What's your um, specialty? Well, the magic from our world is somewhat different. But uh, to sum it all up, I can summon swords and daggers. Huh. Neat. Yeah. So, um... Oh, sorry. Uh... What do you guys want to do? I'll just hop along. Alright, alright. I'm gonna like kind of group up with like the, my um, compatriots and say, okay guys, look. Uh, I'm just probably just gonna be looking for potion stuff and see any kind of like other magical stuff we got, so... Uh, which one do you guys want? What are you guys looking for? I... Also, we gotta look for Rakan. <laughs> I keep forgetting Rakan. Where is Rakan anyway? Rakan's here. <laughs> Not Rakan. Mean... I keep saying... <sighs> Uh, uh, Torin. Well, Tor meant Torin. I don't know why I called Con. Torin. Torin, Torin Rakan confirmed? Oh my god, that explains why Rick Torin came! Anyways, as you mentioned, ah, Torin, he kind of walks up out of nowhere almost, and it's like, hey guys. I, I see like his shadow, <laughs> just to make this dumb joke, I see like a, like a shadow like um in front of me, he's like, oh, he's standing right behind me, isn't he? He's standing right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> he's staying right behind me, isn't he, guys? Like Zoinks! He's right behind like us! Scoob! <laughs> I hate how good that is. Wait, where'd he come from? He just does that. Occasionally. Um, yeah. Oh, I, uh... I know y'all were kind of plucked, uh, suddenly. You were coming, some of the last students, so I... Pulled a few strings and got you... A little something. You know, as a gift for saving a school from from me from me, um, uh, and there's also some for saving some of the school. Uh, and he hands each of you a bag of gold. Huh. Oh, thank you. Leo's so never letting them like li like never letting go of the fact that he um made that giant ass monster fall. Like uh like like eight hundred gold. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. What? Yeah, you, we all got you, you have like 800 gold now. Ooh, just, that's just, a lot. Jesus! Add it to your, add it to your sheet. Uh, 500 of that is from Torin. Thank Juliet later. Thank you, Sugar Dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Though... Pretty generous. 
five in front of the twenty-five. Uh, like, Rakan. Rakan. Yes. Uh, you're no, given the home. gold for Belf. Uh, well, that one's off. here. They might as well be a student, so I'll give this to you. Oh, uh, Ash, oh, we got 800. Uh, um, Michael oh. was saying 500 of that was from um, Torin. Oh, wait, hold on. Have I been given 1600 gold because I'm. You're in I'm charge Belf's of Belf's keeper? gold. You're in charge of Belf's gold. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, um, thank you, uh, I, I suppose, though I, I'm not really sure what to do with all this. Oh, Lumi, how's your character's name set again? Excelsior. Excelsior, alright, you also get 800 gold, don't ask why, you just, you all just also get 800 gold. Oh my gosh! Just don't question it. And uh, like that, he uh, he nods. Uh, anyways, I got a thing with Juliet. Bye. Have fun. What is eight hundred? And he just flies off. Yeah, he's a he's you know kind of a. I want to call him our get out of jail free card, but most yeah. of the time. But yeah, he's a pretty nice guy. Wait, oh, wait what, what was his name? Uh, Torin. Torin. Yes. Oh, last name Tamio. He He's the uh, headmaster's son. I guess He's I chose the. Right. Guess I chose the right school. Yes. All right. He's no one also... has to pay this. <laughs> I, I believe he's also courting our friend Juliet. I see. Put it mildly. Uh, who's Juliet? Uh, she's a friend. I think she um. You'll see her probably see her later, but she's real nice. She's a little, uh, ner she's a bit of a nervous type, but she's real nice. I see. Yes. Last time I saw her, she was hyped up on some sort of magic drink. She, had she also could be in the infirmary time. for that. Um. I was very concerned. She's the one who uh, melted the guy. Oh! Not not on purpose. Not, not on, on purpose. purpose. She does um she just has a tendency to um you know, lose control of her magic. I I heard of it, yeah. I heard about it. So that's Julia, huh? Yeah. Yes. Um Oh, I'm so upset. I my sit my notes didn't say very well, so I don't remember what the flow of the words were okay hold on I'll, I'll try to invest here in character yes uh she taught me a few words from her world oh. i believe <laughs> it was um gatekeep girl boss pussy slay queen no 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 no, no. she um i remember this boots it's, it's down some... <laughs> yeah yeah it's like some weird like gnomish thing she speaks i think she speaks gnomish She's like, I, I never spoke, I never learned how to speak gnomish, but it sounds like boots down, pussy up, slay. I'm sorry, what was, I, what was I, it again? Repeat that? Uh, <laughs> it's like boots down, pussy up, slay. I have no idea what it means. I think it's like gnomish or something. But she's, like, I think it's like a gnomish way of like, um, like saying like, yay. You know what I mean? It's like a, it's like a celebration. You know what I mean? A celebration. Yeah, like, you know, yelling out, we did it, you know? Yeah. Understandable. She says it every single time we win a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Le like, Leopold is, like, he Leopold doesn't know what that means, so he's, like, he generally thinks it's, like, some, like, something, like, in a language that, um, only she speaks. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rakan does not know any better, either. I think Asalcia has some understanding of what that means. <laughs> oh, you speak Gnomish? Uh, no. Le 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 is like genuinely like looking at you like you're about to like if you know what it means. Nope. <laughs> hmm. Well, um... Shopping time though. We got this fat gold. I've ne actually never held this much gold in my entire life. I don't think my family has either. 
He's like staring at the kind of like, oh yeah, wait, this is literally more money than I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I I can relate. Gold is oh. rather uh rare in to, to to possess in my world. Only the more elite members of of uh, society tend to be in possession of some. Oak. Pardon? My family's just broke. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and then, like, we just. I, wait, we both probably just look at, at um. Zach. <laughs> what? <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> Prince? What? 800 is about typical for an allowance on a day. A day? Goodness. A, a day. A, a, a day? I've known people who have worked 60 years and have never even had a fraction of this amount. To be fair, I never used it myself like this, so... I would always just pass it along to the local churches or charities. Fair enough. Well, that's very kind. Uh... Whoever wants to, roll Where perception. Is... I was about to ask! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Asalcia just believes that. Hmm. Mm, mm, I was smoke. about to freaking ass. Um, so Zacharias, you notice uh Belf is gone before everyone else, but everyone else sees what Belf is doing. Yeah. Oh no. That is good, man. Belf is currently eating fire. Like standing in a fire in Rare. in in the cooking tent, eating it. Is she... Does she look hurt? Oh, she looks unbothered. I'll let her do her thing, then. Let that problem solve itself. But, um, you know, the fire is dying, and, you know, there's a lot... There's a whole... There's a whole few days of food needing to cook... Get cooked. Like, everyone here probably knows Matt. Like, we... I mean... That's oh, fair. This, That's fair. Like, like, literally every, like, in a magical school, they can just, like, make fire... Well, mm, someone she's pretty needs... preoccupied. Yes, uh, but what if she starts eating all the food after she's done with the fire? Shit, I must know, like, some kind of spell that, like, makes a flame, like, stick around for a while. Maybe we can, like, preoccupy with that with her, you know what I mean? Just, like, put her down, like, uh, you know, like, jingle keys for her like that. Jingle... What are... What are why, why would you jingle keys? To, like entertainer, you know, like, to, like keep her preoccupied with that while we it's actually do our ADHD little... Markiplier moment. <laughs> so, who is uh, Belf? Like, uh, personality wise, like a handful, a handful. I, <laughs> I can tell, yeah. Uh, however, they are pretty tanky in a fight, yeah, yeah. They're good for um, taking hits and like you know, taking punches to the face for us. From I giant see. gargoyles. You've guys fought gargoyles? Yeah, uh, about like, well, well in, uh, but where was it, like a week ago or something? Or like, when was this? Like, how, like, from like today? Yeah, how long ago was last week's session? Last week. Oh, yeah, it's like last week, you know, like the whole <laughs> gargoyles in the center of the uh, campus blew down. Us, you know, great heroes uh, managed to push back the giant one that was about the size of uh, the googly pex. Oh. Yes, though, now that you've mentioned it, there was something that has been bothering me for a while now. Hmm. They mentioned that the dragons who ran this school were exploiting the, th the entity that they, that they worshipped. Or at the very least, an entity that they were close to. Yeah, and? Generally, should it not be... Well, should it not be understood, but at a basic level, that in order for things to be fair, in order for a righteous coexistence, there must be a give and take. Um, Rick, uh, Rick, uh, do you want to make an insight check on Leopold real quick? Okay, sure. Ooh, I'm excited um, to see where this goes. Thirteen. You would notice that, like the entire concept of like using um some kind of magical being or magical like source like that, like an elemental, 
is like nothing like as like a power source is like nothing new like that like that's like as a concept is it new to leopold you kind of get the uh, idea that like something very similar is done in his home home world uh, i see well it's not particularly my place to judge how th different places do things i can only advocate for my own side I mean, I don't know, like, um... Elementals are just kind of like... Not really like, at least from what I understand of my studies of them, they're not really like... Like, fully sentient beings, they're more just, like... Animated sources of power and magic. Elementals do have... Sentience, in the same way that well, we do, it's just... More well, difficult yeah, but to like, understand them. Well, yeah, like, a, like, a cow has, like, sentience, but, like, people still eat them, you know? It's more just, like, they, like, they have sentience, but don't have, like, a personality, you know? Elementals are complicated. But I can say for certain that they do, in fact, have just as much of a spirit and a personality as you or I. Hmm. And even if it was the case, as with an animal, such as, uh such as cattle, I feel there is a difference between killing them once and taking them as sustenance and exploiting their ever-living existence as a means to an end. You wouldn't like it if you were forced to run on a wheel for all of eternity to power something, now would you? How oh, deep does it leave if I want to get here? What? I, I mean, like, that, I mean... Fuck, isn't that like all of us, though? In a way... But... In, the, in that case, you would be given... You know... Things to compensate. It's I mean, different from a job. I don't know, like... Back in my hometown, we just, like, managed to open, like, rifts, too, like, those elemental planes, and just kind of, like, put some tubes or pipes or some magical stuff to kind of, like, leech off their energy. Well, I suppose if it's not harming the elementals directly, then that's fair. After all, they wouldn't care yeah, really. much one or another if they're if the energy from the planes themselves are siphoned. But directly from an elemental is a different story. Hmm. If we could always what ask was that? About it. What? I heard, an, heard, I heard an explosion. <laughs> Oh, I didn't- shit. The food tent is on fire. <laughs> what the <laughs> noises? And this is why... I was concerned for that little gremlin being there. <sighs> Give me a moment. Leo's gonna, like, jump up on the stand. You- you see the- the twelve-foot-tall lizard lady frantically, uh, trying to put the fire out? Uh, can- I feel like this precipitation can that it can, do... well, it can snuff out a small fire, yes. Then yeah, he's gonna probably help with that. Uh, Saracen will turn. Would y'all get your whatever this is, please? Torin, <laughs> wanna just? I'm just gonna grab Belf. Yes, I apologize. <laughs> uh, Belf is still on fire. I'll put her out too. Okay, that works. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> Zacharias grabs Belf <laughs> and just walks away with it. I am so sorry. You know, I would... I'd like to say I'm annoyed, but this isn't the first time... today. People have been eating fire, or causing a fire? Oh, I meant the explosion. <laughs> that was the first one. I am immensely concerned. What's happening? Anyways, uh, just, just keep a watch on your... Devil? Demon? Thing? Dragonborn? Keep keep an eye on it, please. We, we don't need the fairgrounds burning down completely. Well, All right, so, uh, yeah, we promise. Fed. Do I actually know what spell to get a help on? Uh... I just fuck. realized I could have, I could have grabbed a spell that would have been helpful, 
but I didn't. <laughs> I did not pick good berry. Well, I mean, she probably just eat them all at once. I feel like she would like, like a bag of Skittles, just like pop the entire bag in her mouth and just. Oh no. But yeah, uh, we'll save her. Maybe uh, we could probably just talk to Torn about it later. He's always pretty upfront about stuff. At least like when it's concerning. Besides, we're gonna scare off our new friend. That is true. Here, and... let me remove the actively on fire from from uh, Belf. One second. Does this happen often? With Belf? Oh, no idea. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, no, here, I wasn't, it wasn't, he, uh, she wasn't trying to leave, I just had to drag her. Uh -oh. so I, could, I could properly <laughs> see something. Here, go back. <laughs> do you guys think she needs really to breathe? To what? I mean, do you think she needs to breathe? I should hope I don't so. Know. Just gonna look at Do you need to breathe? Why? <laughs> he kind of... Do you um, require oxygen to function as a normal yeah. creature? Why are you asking? Curious. I oh, do not saying... trust the rabbit. <laughs> well, you eat... eat fire. In theory, yeah. in this case, wouldn't it then deprive Cause... the oxygen from within? Yeah. Or does it go straight to the stomach? She like snorts a little bit of flame from her nose. Oh my Wouldn't you <laughs> like to know? Uh, uh, Madam DM, may I do an investigation check to see if they're selling a bag of holding? <laughs> no. Yes, you may. <laughs> Yay. Oh shit! I keep forgetting I'm supposed to get that over here. Uh, uh, which which stand do you go to? That does affect it. Um. Shit, I gotta look. Uh, uh, I'll go with the one to cap the uh, cap boy. That, that, that well, looks like it. <clears throat> I'll do an investigation check. Right. While that's happening, just to play Saint Belf, Zach is going to put a hand on her head and just like pat her, just like just to distract her, basically. The Belf is happy. Um. <laughs> Why yeah, the, okay. To pat the bell. To hold the bell. One sec, let me get you the price. <laughs> to cherish the bell. Okay. Or rather, <laughs> you notice a bag of holding? <laughs> it's not <laughs> at the stand. Oh. It's is a it merchant. held by a certain someone? It is, it is held by a certain cat boy. Okay, I know what to do here. Oh, no. Hey, you like, kind of like... Does that thing where, like, like you know, it's like super small, like kind of like, leans up against the the counter. Mm -hmm. So I could have a nose got a bag holding on ya. We kind of need that for a bit of a problem we we have right now. You wish to shove the devil in a bag. Yes, yes, exactly. I'm uh, thank you. I'm glad a fellow scholar can understand the predicament I'm in. What is in it for me? You see, it, Prince Charming over there. Yes. Oh, frick you! I am aware he, of him. Okay, look, I know you want to do a bit of a study date with him, and I know exactly what kind of courses he needs help with. Interesting proposal. <laughs> roll, roll me persuasion. You're throwing me under a butt! No, I'm pimping you out. <laughs> it's even worse! <laughs> Sixteen. He kind of like thinks about it for a moment. Deal. He gives you the bag. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, hey, Zach. Uh, I I know. Remember how like uh, like about like a week or so ago, you were like trying to study about, like the board, like the boundaries of like um, like how like um like other kingdoms interact with this kingdom or area. Zach is going to like sit there and recall. Michael, uh, if you take a look at my private chat, you'll see the um, the details of his multi-class. <laughs> but um, he's thinking back to specifically that, what, what Leo just said, and then his mind 
wanders over to what I just put in my private chat, and then he shakes his head. He's like, y "Yes, I do." Um. So you remember? Like, I know. Like, I think that you know the person like the he points at the the cat boy over there. They are an ex. Oh. I was talking to them, and they feel absolutely horrible for what they said about you. They recognize you as like you know the the noble prince that you are. And they actually want to make up to you by doing uh, by tutoring you about the um, geopolitical uh, relations of this world. Do you jest or do you mean this? Oh, full heartedly. Also, uh, you all would note this 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 cat boy over here. He does. He may be a first year, but he does actually teach a few classes here. Yeah. As teacher, I'm gambling this out, right, teacher? He he's he's like he teaches the he's the teacher's aide, but he teaches the full fucking class. Okay, yeah. Like he she's comes up, teacher's aide, teacher. but the teacher just like fucks off to like Dunkin' Donuts or something. Like, uh, just takes specifically, you know what? Can I, can he, he specifically can... uh, teaches history. Most. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, could I keep my head cannon that the fairy that pushed me in is the one that is he's the assistant to then. The fairy is also a student, but you know what? I can change. What? Right, hold up. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Anyways. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. I'll believe you for now. You haven't at least lied. You haven't lied to me yet, I believe, so. I haven't lied to you this week. <sighs> <laughs> I, I, Leo doesn't say that. I'm just saying that. But um, yeah, he's gonna go back and tell him that they um that he organized a study date for them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking one for the team. Huh? No, nothing. As um, as uh, Zacharias <laughs> agrees, mentally oh. Rakan goes, Leo, you cruel. Cruel man. Okay, above board, like, it's not that cruel. I mean, technically, he, like, everyone is getting what they are promised. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but. It's just a little extra. <laughs> you are playing, you are I've playing played that a poor boy's like, emotions and taking advantage of Zacharias' naivety. I've played a literal, like, um,. Anarcho capitalist like ru like ruler <laughs> who literally like who literally took over a village and turned into a tax haven one time and that, he's still not as like, cruel or mean as Leo is. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Leo's probably gonna and the someone Leo thinks you know try to get um Bell to kind of like stay in the sack for a bit like probably put some food in there and tell um Bell that if they stay put in this bag that they um they can like open the sack every like 10 minutes or so to get some air in there if they stay there I do not wish to go into the bag mortal there's a lot of food in there <laughs> it's free I'll give you head pats roll persuasion can uh can uh Zach give me does a that bag? work yeah yeah Zach that works both yeah, like Belf like squints at Zack and slowly that steps into the back. In my room. Slowly just steps into the back <laughs> and just slowly just sinks in. Yeah, it's just I'm like just slowly off. sinks into the bag. Just like as a little flavor thing, I like the idea of me holding a bag like this. Oh, Sorry, um, that that, no, yeah, that yeah. is uh, that that's it, good. That, that's blood sugar things. Um, can I flavor the, the bag holding like a little like coat pocket in Leo's coat? Do, do, do you want to sew it into your, do you want, well, I mean, you wouldn't, okay. If you flavor it like this, you will not be able to remove the pocket dimension from your coat. It will always have to be your coat. I kind of like that though. I kind of like that a lot. Similar to how Spyro has a pocket dimension in his hair, you will have a pocket dimension in your coat. Wait, Spyro the dragon? S S Spyro Le Fay, uh, the, the, the fairy. That, that push. No. Uh, I was thinking of the, the, I was thinking of the dragon. No, that's fair. Yeah, I feel like Leo like has a little, you know, like, Leo has like weird little coat, like magic stuff like that. 
all right. And like Leo, like after he like closes his, his jacket and like kind of like you know like does that like hand like dust off his hands. All right, that's gonna make our lives a lot easier for today. I just. I just want to point out now. Anytime Bell flew up food, her hand will poke out of Leo's like pocket, and we have to <laughs> shove an entire panini down it. <laughs> <laughs> just shoving an entire rotisserie chicken into into the pocket. <laughs> I, I, no, I'm just imagining even like weirder. I was like, imagine like you see two people, and like one of them's like holding like, their um, coat open, and the other one's just like scraping off a plate of food into his coat. <laughs> oh my god. Like an entire bowl of food really out, just like scraping that off in there. Hey, what are you doing? Are you stealing? No, no, no. no we're feeding the belt. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I guess like Leo will occasionally just like to make sure belt has air, like we'll kind of like, open up the bag and just check on them every so often. Now you see what I was imagining was like whenever Belf wants food, she just pokes her head out of the bag, like, like, give me food. And just stuff it in the face, <laughs> pat it, and it's like she's going back. Exactly. Your coat is just birthing a demon. Oh god. <laughs> you That's have just... a demon lord in your pocket. This is an isekai anime, I swear to god. I mean, Leo is all about summoning stuff, so... I can't wait for Leo to just rip open his pocket one day and uh, for, like, Belf to appear. That's just kind of like... it. Can you imagine it, though? Like, We're just thing, having... like a, t a three foot tall rabbit just opens his coat and this <laughs> feral demon just shoots out. Exactly. Just having like an intense conversation with like a bully or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're stupid! Oh yeah? Here's my belt! <laughs> I just imagine how you're um, taking the hill like pockets it. Like, pocket <laughs> you, demon. You, like, pocket you're, Sam. Sam. <laughs> you're stupid! Pocket <laughs> belt. You know what? Pocket my belt begs to differ. Pocket your demon. what begs to differ? And it just belt pops out. <laughs> just shoots out. <laughs> my stand! Yes. Belfagor! Yes. <laughs> the stand. The, word! Oh! the power of my stand, propane nightmare. <laughs> propane, <laughs> and propane accessories. Uh huh. God, we are so dumb. <laughs> I can't believe that worked, anyway. by the way. Anyway. Well, I made um, a promise. I mean, it'll be fine, Zachary. Yeah. He like gives like the cat like a thumbs up. <laughs> the cat just uh, nods nothing... and pushes up his glasses. <laughs> okay, so yeah. nothing like because all intents and purposes that was a deal. There's nothing that like appears on Zack or anything, right? Just for future reference, because that's a deal with a devil technically. Well, uh, no. we'll talk about that later. Anyway. Okay so, then. What Bell or the cat? Bell. Bell. I okay. promised that I would give head pats and they could oh. come out in my room to do so if they got in the bag. That's what the persuasion was for. Oh, you got a little fancy there. Okay, you got a little. Okay, you got something going there. Wait, yeah, I so guess. This um... is also over the table. Why? Why does Zach have so much game? Hey, Zach is mean? gonna riz all the NPCs. Unspoken, unspoken riz, yeah, unspoken riz. <laughs> Well, he does have noble he has himbo energy. He has like the, yeah, the himbo energy. Pocket demon, more like pocket monster. This user has been deleted by mm. Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah, can't um, the Nintendo ninjas got her. Oh, great. Um, Leo probably turned to Rakan uh, and asked, so um, anything you want to get now that you're um, free? And you know, you don't want to babysit? <sighs> well, admittedly, I do need more clothes. You know who uh, else needs more clothes? Who? Bell. <laughs> you just, like, I love how we just forced. <laughs> no, no. But um, you do have a fund for that. So uh, whoever has the fund can decide Bell's outfit if they want. Ooh, Rakan. Oh, actually, wait, that's kind of cute. Actually, like, do Rakan, go, like, you can dress the. You can dress. You know who else needs more clothes? My mom. <laughs> Yeah, you know who um, else needs more clothes? You know who oh, else got oh. cheated on? It's not fair, bro. Oh, I did everything for her. <laughs> bro. Uh, like, oh, when, like, Leo passes on, like, Rakan to, like, uh, ask Rakan to do her shopping. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Alright. Okay. Um... 
So, anyone know where the clothing st clothing stalls are? No clue. Let's ask. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Uh, so Rakan's gonna walk up to the to the food place where the twelve foot tall lady is. Mm -hmm. I just want a tall lady. Um, excuse me. Uh, Saracen turns to look at you. How may I help you, darling? Yes, um, I'm not quite sure what, the, like, where exactly everything in the fair is. Um, where would I find the the clothing stall? And she'll look at you. For uh, gals like us. Check one of those bigger stalls over there. She'll nod across from the the food. So like uh, the, o over oh, over like here. Over where? Uh... This one in particular. Oh. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> and and Rindercon just kind of like, like, politely bows and then uh, waves goodbye. All right. And she'll she'll give you a nod. All right, I have found, or uh, rather, um, I, I got the directions. It is, it's over here. All right, and you head over there. And there are, in fact, many clothes for large-sized creatures here. Is there anything in particular you're looking for, Rakan? Or would you like to roll dice and see, fuck around and find out? I'm gonna fuck around and find out what am I, what am I rolling. Roll me a D two. Okay. Um. Hold on. There are gonna be a couple That's rolls a... here, so just be just be ready to roll. One D two. Two. All right. I rolled a nat two, baby. Let's go. <laughs> now. Let's see. Roll me a D four. I rolled it at four, baby. Let's go. <laughs> God dang! Nice. Perfect. All right, and now let me look at what you. Okay, I need one more roll. Okay. 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 D six. I rolled four. A four. All right. Let's see. I'm a little, I'm a little upset. I didn't get a one D. I got a, I, I, did, I didn't get a nat six. <laughs> Three max rolls would have been crazy. All right, now let me go. Which one is that? On the higher one? end. <laughs> True. Oh wait, here it is. Okay. Um. Oh wait, I do have a few variants of it. I might have you roll another die. I need to count how many I need, I have of this. Okie dokie. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll just I'll just pick from Give the top twenty. Sack. Roll me a d twenty. Okie dokie. Nine. Nine. All right. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Interesting. <laughs> I just realized you could have gotten Saracen's outfit on this list, technically. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, who's Saracen again? Saracen the, is the that big li the, 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 the big lizard lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let me send this to you real quick. Uh, you are free to modify it to be more Rakan. 
but this is uh, if you want exactly what you rolled, this is uh, this is what you rolled. Where are our DMs? Okie dokie. As uh, you find a very uh, almost raven themed uh, outfit, uh, specifically in the druid section, um, has it's very feathery, a little more showy than what you currently wear. However, it is more showy, but it does technically conceal more skin this is true this is true so i'd imagine that she wears uh like... there are there's a variant with like more of a skirt or like you know you can it basically if i do art for this one eventually uh you can change it if there are things you want to change for it So I don't think Rakan's going to take the headdress. Mm -hmm. Nor do I think she's a big fan of the shoulders. Hmm. But... The shoulders are attached to it. Hmm. Hmm. You could roll again if you want. You know what? I can roll again, yeah. All right, let's, let's roll again! All right, let's see... Uh, go ahead and roll again. Roll me another. Uh, roll me another D6. Okay, one D6, three. A three. All right. Um, and roll me a D20. Nineteen. A nineteen. All right, the one you got is option A on this list. Yo, that looks amazing. That looks so good. You know, it's uh, uh basically for chat. Uh, I'll, I'll draw my rendition of it if Rakan chooses this eventually. But yeah, I think, it's a I stereotypical think druid outfit with like the leafy shoulders. You know, you know the leather and everything. It, it, it's pretty nice. You'll you'll. It'll be a surprise, but here. Actually, here. You said you choose it? Yeah. Then I'll send it in the D&D chat. Ooh. I see our girls glow up. I think it gives a nice, uh, nice balance, a nice, uh, contrast. That is not oh, yeah, what yeah. I typed. Okay, there we go. There we go. No, you see, your initial message is correct because that's an S rank outfit. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. All right. And, okay, so let me double check. All right, Rakan. Yes. That will be 70 gold. But, while wearing this outfit, once attuned, that is, you will gain. Plus one to your spell safety, see? Ooh, that's so cool. That's really Wait, nice. That's so nice. That's so That's good. really appealing. Everything uh, here I... will have a minor magical effect. Nothing too big, but like, the, so Rakan, uh, to, to be fair, you rolled a 19. 19 and 20 is the, the plus one effect. Oh, nice. Alright, so. Okay, and you said it was 70 gold? Mm-hmm. Okay. You got a pretty good deal. Yeah, so I got 1,500... Don't be spending Belf's gold. <laughs> <laughs> no worries here. here uh... You know she bought this spent all on food, right? <laughs> Spends all of Belf's gold. No worries, I'm only spending 70 of mine. She still has 800. I'm sure she's gonna spend it on on food, but yeah. Uh, Belf does not get to be in charge of her gold. Y'all get to choose how it's used. Like, you don't get to spend it on you. It has to be for Belf, probably, a little bit. You could technically use it on you if you want to be a bad person. Yeah. But then you will have one party member without equipment. <laughs> I mean, she, like, summons her thing, right? Like, or she just eats stuff. She eats enemies. I mean, I guess that's technically true. 
That's the best kind of true. <laughs> that is technically correct. The best kind of correct. Yeah. All right. Indeed. Is there anyone else who would like to try and look their hand at looking for apparel or other magic items? Uh, yes, because I am a, I am greedy AF for stuff that makes numbers go slightly higher. All right. So you're. Uh, what are you looking for? Are you also uh, looking for apparel? I guess. What would the put one wear? Leopold's gonna look down at his shoes and realize, like his shoe, like he still has kind of like his old, like kind of like hand-me-down shoes. Like, oh, not shoes. No, wait, no, I just realized I don't wear shoes. Mm -mm. Give me a moment to think. Uh, he's gonna look at his belt, his old belt that he's had. Like, this been like a hand-me-down mm -hmm. from his, one of his brothers. Or it's like any kind of like. Random clothing. Yeah, the kind of, he, look, he. This is the first time he's ever had money. He's like, he was like, since he's the youngest, he's always like one to one. He's always been like the hand me down like sibling. He kind of wants some like new stuff. All right. He's still like wearing uh, his like coaching six at school, his last school. Go ahead and roll me a D two. All right, come on. Wait, where's D two on this thing? You have to roll it manually. Oh, I just have one d two. Mhm. Do slash roll one d two. Oh, sorry. What the heck? Oh, do I do space? I'm so bad at this. Oh my! How am I messing up this badly? Uh. Rakan, help. No. Uh, oh no. I'm, I'm, uh, it's like the f slash next to the, like, where the, um... Uh, slash... Wait, is it... Roll. Oh, is it roll, we yes. said? Yes, yeah, slash, slash roll, roll then one. space. Oh, I'm sorry, I only heard slash one two. Uh, so slash roll, and then... There the we go. Oh, two, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Alright. So now roll me a d4... Okay. Let's enough. see what genre of clothing you get. Oh yeah! Hey! Hey. Nat okay. two, nat four. Can you get a nat six though? All right now, roll me a d six. Okay. Uh, Lizia, or at least, I'm sorry. How do you say it again? As uh, Asalzia. Asalzia, blowing the dice, blowing the dice. Look. <laughs> okay, two. All right, a two. Okay, okay. And roll me a d20. Okay, here you go, here you go. Come on, big money, big money. That needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> a nine. Interesting, interesting. Alright, oh crap, where'd I put the picture? I just had it. Alright. Here we go. You did find clothing, uh it's wizard esque but more akin to druid clothing. Alright. Fuck, where did I put I just had it. That's a mood. <laughs> Give, give me a second, I'm having technical You're good, you're good, you're phone. good, you're good, don't worry. All good, all good, all good. He's gonna turn to Elysia. Excelsior. And uh, so, um, what is that? Anything else you're looking to get? After you got all that money, I'll be looking for something. Well, yeah. I mean, I might as well try out this gotcha clothes doll as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you call my clothing stall a gotcha Got clothing stall? Hmm, I wonder you're why. Not. You're not wrong. You're not. <laughs> that is that is a hundred percent accurate. This is a gacha clothing. But, I want to try it. Wait, if we. All right. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'll say what if we just keep on like spending money? Could just keep on rolling for new clothes? You could. <laughs> you in fact could. Oh, I just imagine like. Leo's just like spending all his gold on this, and, like you stick a pile of clothes behind him and he just keeps on throwing away. Leo. 
This doesn't have the plus one I want. Yeah, it's worthless. Well, at least we can use those as hand-me-downs for Belf. Uh, <laughs> Leopold is technically smaller than Belf. Yeah. Well, shit, um... Well, if we buy enough, we can, we can like, sew some together. together. <laughs> Fair. Oh, you know what? So... I can't find it. This'll have to do. Because technically it does fit. Yeah. Um, so, so, Mike, I just have a realization about my character sheet. Oh, wait. Never mind, this does work. Okay, okay. Where's Leopold? Where's Leopold? Where Where are my DMs? Here. Oh, there it is. I was looking for Le Okay. So you find kind of a, a leather, almost armor uh, set that uh, is is green in color and looks like it could go over your current clothing or be worn in its own outfit of sorts that gives you a bonus to stealth. Okay, I'll take that. Plus two to stealth. Okay. Uh, can you like wear it like, underneath this coat, like almost like a bulletproof vest kind you of? You could, like, you could. I'll take that, all right. And uh, 75 gold? Uh, yes. Isn't Leo, like, t I'm pretty sure Leo's close, but, like, pretty stealthy, or... Yeah, because I know I have, like, pretty good deck stuff. Oh, I'm blanking. Hold on. I'm doing math in my head. I'm just gonna, I'm doing math in my head, and I'm pulling out a calculator. Alright, and, um, Excelsia, you said you wanted to? Yes, yes. Alright. Go ahead and roll me the D2. Um, wait, wait, okay. Slash R1D2. Wait, how, how, how does it work? Slash roll Slash 1D2. Roll, is, it, is there a space? Yes. Alright, and now roll me a D4. Alright. Let me look... Alright, roll me a d6. And roll me a d20. Okay. A 9, okay. So it gives that... Oh, by the way, this count as armor? Uh, yes, it counts as leather armor. I think that you, I think that you increased my AC because I don't think I was wearing armor at all. Uh, does the what? Does the version? Does the thing I got count as armor, or does it count as clothing? It counts as clothing. Okay. Let's yeah, see. So I can have a higher one? Okay, AC so now. That's the effect. That's the genre. So, Leo, what do you think I'm gonna get? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm, it looks. Maybe some gauntlets. Some gauntlets you gonna bring out your eyes? Uh, maybe. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I'm not really fond of armor, though. Maybe oh, hoping for not? a cloak. Maybe hoping for a cloak or something. You know, to free, free up movement. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it does actually increase my armor class because I, I wasn't wearing any armor before. Should be one of these ones, and then... I'd rather stay light on my feet, you know? Yeah, no, I get you. And like, Leo like, kind of jumps around pretty good at that. Mm. Leo what being the show off that he always is, because he likes to show up at like, the, every single new person he meets, he's going to do like a little j uh, 10 foot jump and <laughs> jumps, jumps back. Because he can't. Celsius <laughs> just smiles. 
Yeah, I wasn't wearing any armor before, so actually this does like bring up my armor class to actually go level where like I'm actually not like a fish in a barrel to hit. All right. So is Celsia. The outfit you find is kind of a cloak that goes with armor, but the cloak is what's the magical part. Um, and it gives you a bonus to athletics or religion. Uh, plus Ooh. two. I forgot to say also, uh, yours could give you a bonus to um, nature, uh, Leopold. I forgot um. to mention that part. Wait, wait um, do I choose or pick? Is it both or pick? Well, it, it, it's it's both. So it, it gives, I should say, athletics and religion in this case, or uh, stealth and nature. Damn, my nature's so, already high. Damn. Plus one to athletics and Plus two religion? to athletics and religion. Should we just make it? I don't know how to bring the stat up in my uh, sheet. Should I just make it proficient for now? Because that's the same thing. Yeah, that works for now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure out next level. <coughs> you okay there? Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah. Uh, would anyone else like to gotcha? Or got, would any of you like to gotcha again? Or would any of you like to gotcha for Belf? Kind of want to gotcha for I'll gotcha for Belf. Okay. I, I have You have Belf's money. money. <laughs> Alright. Roll 1d2. Two, roll one d four, three. I get a four. This is on the table for Belf. Roll me a d six. Six two. All right, and roll me a d twenty. One d twenty. Twelve. All right. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Oh. I'm what a is smidgen it? concerned now. What is the outfit? Uh, well, okay, Major. so Grando, you get to decide because you're gotcha-ing for Belf, and you you can also decide if you want to share it with share what you've you've obtained with the party. I mean, I think that's, I think that fits for Belf. Yeah, I, I think that fits for Bell. Alright, uh, so... So, what do you think of this outfit for Bell? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Wait. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think she'll like it. She might try to eat the skulls. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a little, um... <clears throat> uh, revealing, but, yeah. I don't think demons mind. Sure, she doesn't have shame. I, I Can like you roll a like sneak attack like on Mineko since they don't see me? I do see you. You can't roll okay, sneak uh, attack against me. Um, uh, hold on, I got you. Uh, she subtract, can you. Subtract the 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 gold from. Uh... All right. Yep. So. Bell what's the gold number? Wait. Seven? So, so how much was it? Uh, I think I've said 75 for all of them. That, that, that is, that, that's the gotcha amount, is 75. Yeah. Oh. For the um, clothing, at I... least. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. I do need clothes as well. Alright. Zacharias. Yes. Roll me a d2. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh... Out of all of you, I will laugh if Zacharias is the one to roll one. Oh my god. Oh, boy, to be tripping. Yeah, he's look good for his day. I'm stupid. How do I roll d2? Slash roll 1d2. Slash roll space 1d2. Yeah, imagine not knowing how to do that. What an idiot. <laughs> all right. Interesting. Interesting. Roll me a d4. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. Roll me a d6. Five. Oh. I get four. And roll me a d20. I got an 18. Oh, oh damn. Who's him? 
I know. So I knew you would understand. Aren't you excited to see what you got? Kind of. I think. I don't know. I'm scared. I want to see it. <laughs> I'm more really curious. Also, deposit your gotcha money. I. I. I go down. Seven feet. Wait, you said it was 750? Uh, but it gives no, you a plus one to attack. Ooh. Wait, did you say each one is- 75 gold pieces, not 750. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Like, damn, yeah, that's an expensive gotcha. <laughs> is this not an option, Micah? No, it, well, you could pay to get it reformatted. <laughs> How much? How much Wait, is need, it to get it, it reformatted? Um, yes. It will change the armor look a little bit, but um, for the stats, let me look. You rolled high, so it costs more to get it reformatted. Uh, it about about about, about two hundred to get it reformatted. Please. Oh wait, wait. Let me I double just, check the regular what price. What does the base look look like? Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh wait, I'm wait, curious. no. This one, like... this one is if if. This is the plate armor, so it costs more than two hundred. Um, ah! wait, real talk, <laughs> plate armor at for this price, you kind of just gotta take it. Um, so that would you can roll to reduce it, but that would actually be eight hundred to get it reformatted. Yeah. It costs half the base price of the item to get it reformatted. Plate armor oh, is so expensive. I, I, I need to what, know what it looks like. What does it look like? Uh, if you roll well, I'll let you haggle it down to where it just takes the rest of your money to get it reformatted. <laughs> poor, poor Zach. Poor Zach. Poor Zach, Zach. Zach, show them. Yeah, show on, Zach. Come on, share with the class. Yeah, share with the class. <laughs> You're making me save the image. Yes. No, you just copy and paste the image. I, I'm really hoping it's like some You're like right. World of Warcraft female elf armor, like looking like that shows up. <laughs> oh as my goodness, I would love that. I would love that. You can't wear metal armor. You're a druid. I mean, no, 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 not me. That looks not nice. Yeah, that, that looks, looks nice. Really that looks nice. Looks nice. Like oh. Leo gets on the table and pinches his cheek. You look handsome in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it? Is it only feet for? Is it yes. only for yes. feminine bodies? Oh. Yes. Maybe you like a cloak to kind of like wear over. I do it not all. have the um, waistline for such a thing. I mean, Just get him, get him a corset. Someone get this man a corset. Yeah. I mean, what would I roll to haggle? What would you I could... uh, to haggle? Yeah, would that be persuasion or something else? It would be persuasion. Cool. All right, let me. Okay, let me. If I edit. had a nickel for every time a party member was forced into female armor, I had two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. It's weird that it happened twice. I mean, if it's if it's gonna get reformatted, are you gonna go to a blacksmith? All right, all right. So Torin! to get it to get it reformatted, that gets you twenty percent off of the reformatting. Okay. It'll be 640 to get it reformatted. <gasps> or you could beg Torin, or like get Juliet to beg Torin, I guess, technically. I didn't think about that, but. Yeah, really. <laughs> um. Hmm. Could I, by chance, persuade the gotcha merchant to allow an exchange? Interesting. What do you want to exchange for? Uh, I will take the normal rolling aspect, but I would just get the next item and accept it no matter what it is. Interesting. So you want the same, like, I, the, the same plus? I will but... roll. I will roll again. I will return this armor. 
and give 40 gold instead of the 75 since I already rolled and and I'm returning an armor. All right, all right. Uh, this you know what? You... With that persuasion, I'll allow it. Uh, roll me a d2. <laughs> Motherfucker is giving a plus one to hit. All right, all right. <laughs> You're the safe this will. time. <laughs> roll me a d4. Oh, I get it now. One is male. One is female. Two is one. <laughs> no. Two is your gender. Uh, oh. Oh. The opposite. Okay. Oh, I would 100 percent wear a female one. I don't care. I I'll take stats any day, Dwego or fashion. All right. I'm a fashion souls person. So you rolled, but that does not mean I wear the switch. All right. All right. Interesting. Roll me the d6. Oof. Oof. I swear to God, if this is like some sort of battle maid outfit, I'll take it. Battle roll, maid. Roll the d20. Roll the d20. <sighs> oh. Hey. Oh. Oh boy. This is oh, interesting. What is it going to be? Um, let me see. Uh, green or red? You get a choice. Red. Red? Alright. Red. No question. RN Jesus has blessed you. RN Jesus has no. blessed you. Hey, yo, that looks cool. That looks... Scary. Let's see it. Uh, this effect-wise, this is plus one plate. This is the only plate you'll get for the rest of the game. This is the best plate oh. in the game. Oh, uh, what? Uh, okay. Er, like in bird. this game, yeah. at least. Pretty like evil looking, but okay. Sure, um, why not? Yes. He does carries. offer you. He does <laughs> offer you something. Hmm. There is something that goes with it. Uh oh. Since you rolled the nat 20, you have access to one of my special items. I don't have the full image of it because I'm bad at drawing symmetrical, but he offers oh you the God. item known as Demonic Sanctuary. Is that a shield? Yeah. That yes. is a tower shield. Oh. Yes. Really? It does have one downfall. It's, it it sounds cursed. It you sounds can't cursed. wield a weapon while using it. Oh, well that's a But it that's can be used yeah. as a weapon. Ooh. Okay, for, for, um, for flavor-wise, would I be able to, in theory, like put it on my back at an angle and use a weapon just for flavor-wise? Or would that still be no because it's equipped? You You can't. If if you get this and you ever want to use it, you cannot use a weapon. This oh, can do I'm everything. Stuck holding it for forever. Sort you just of become shield hero. No, no. The sh this is this is the evil shield hero, basically. Yeah. To be fair, um, there is. So if you chose green, you would get. Oh, you'd get my favorite armor. <laughs> uh, but do you do you want to see the green option? Actually, here I'll let you. I'll, you rolled a nat 20. I feel like that deserves a reward. Do you want to see the green option? Sure, sure. I like Shows the red the option. Goods. All right, so first I got to show you the shield. Actually, here, I can select both, I think. And then uh, I do have a reference image of someone wearing the green armor. Did you draw it yourself? Yeah, I did. Nice. Here. And the green one comes with a reference of someone wearing it because it, it is based off one of my favorite characters. <coughs> oh. It's like a lighter version. The Ooh. hair looks familiar. Where have, I, where have I seen this hair before? I do like a good fur collar on armor. I do like I do a too. fur collar. So if I accept the shield, it's only when I equip it, or the second I accept the shield, it's like locked in, never using anything. It, it would basically again. be locked in. Ah, frick! Wait, what's the damage dice on the shield? The damage dice? Interesting, yeah. you should ask. A d10. I mean, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty little, good. Little, that's pretty good, decent, yeah. It's pretty decent. I'm doing 2d6 plus 3 with my greatsword right now. I mean... There are other wow. effects. There are other effects to the shield. I mean, ideally speaking, that's only 2, like, 2 less, like, like max damage, and that's... Like maybe early game that means something, but like again, this point in the game is like is gonna slowly, like not mean much. You know what I mean? 
And there is no guarantee that 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 extra little bit of damage would be worth it compared to any like yeah. benefit the shield. That's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. above more is still a game talking like I know granted yeah like like you're lowering your uh, max and minimum damage but at the same time like it's not by a uh, bad amount and you're getting multi attack next level so True. And you have smite True. too. I do. <laughs> Oh, okay, also, so uh, this would... would allow you, if you wanted, to change your Paladin Oath to a very specific one if you choose the green one. Ooh, I think to I the know. green one. Oh, the green one. Yeah, the red one doesn't have a special Paladin Oath yet, but there is, uh, you get bonuses if you are Paladin Oath of the, let me remember what the Oath is called. Ancients? Uh, not Oath of the Ancients. Oath of the really? Endling. Oh. The Endling? The Endling. Hey, yo, the wait a minute, that's the... from, uh, Steinhardt... That's not Spide from Steinhardt. Hunt, right? Nope. Okay, no, it's not. Hmm. Where's it from? Because I could've sworn I had that. I could've sworn I had that. Hmm. 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 Personally, I think it's pretty worth it, but it's your character. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't be able to use any other weapon. Oh, also, technically, uh, if, if you do want to learn Tower Shield, there's a Tower Shield feat tree. Oh, frick. There's, uh, you unlock a lot by choosing it, it's gonna cost you 200 more gold and you'll never be able to use a weapon again. It's gonna cost 200 more? Never mind. Okay. Um. Well, no, because you trade it in, so it would just be the 200 plus the, the gotcha price. The regular gotcha price. So, 275? Yeah. No, I'm good. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, well, you I... at least get the armor, which allows you to do Oath of the Endling, if you wish. Uh, if you choose the green one. The red one? Uh, the, no, red one the red one. Let me remember what oath... Because I do think I had an oath for that. Um, I'll get it to you later, once I remember. So... Very spiffy armor, though. If I were to really take is. a shot in the dark and guess which one, I would guess Oath of Conquest. Uh, I don't remember. Like I said, or, uh, do you want the red shield? No. No, it's sad. Do you want the red shield or the green shield? You have the... to. The, the they don't. You can't mix and match. You you. If you had the red armor and the green shield, like you, 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 you no, not allowed. Dirt on each other. <laughs> um. I would offer the the other armor to one of you, but uh, none of you, uh, none of the others wear armor, or like this type of armor. I don't think. No. I'm just going to. I'm going Give to the green armor nod. to Belf. <laughs> can you wear? Uh, no wait. Um, Celsius, can you wear heavy armor? Nope. Dang. All right. Would anyone else like to go on the gotcha table? I'll go uh, on like, the I almost want to look for. Is there one for like weapons? Uh, or, like, yeah, is there? There. I mean, they're just regular. I, the the only one that had the gotcha was the outfits. Okay, never mind. I was like, I, I would like, still. I would still like to go to the weapon stall. Yeah, and all the weapons are just their base prices that you can, in the in the shop. They're just base prices. Okay. Okay, so I just right. hop over to the sword, and uh, I'll buy like, let's say ten daggers. All right. How much is 10 that? Ten gold. Ten gold. Thank you. Daggers only one gold, gold piece a piece. And this is a stretch, but I'm just, can I like roll to get something that would like increase my um, uh, spell attack? Your spell attack. Pieces, Jays. I could allow like that. The hit. Yeah, to hit. Oh, your spell to hit. Okay. Um, roll me a d2. Okay, this thing will do it right. Slash. Roll. Space. 1d2. Oh, I just realized you could actually get Belf's armor on here. Okay. Okay. So, and now just roll me, roll me a d100 to see if you find what you're looking for. Ooh. Okay, okay. Higher end. Okay, okay. Right. 
And you wanted something He's that helping increases soldier. your spell attack? Uh, I think, isn't like, um, the, um, actual, like, I'm just trying for reference, um, it's called, like, Wand of the uh, War Mage or something like that? Uh, oh, you're not going to the gacha to try and find something? Oh. No, no, I'm just, I'm just comparing it to, like, um, yeah, like... Yeah, it would be something like idea. Wand of the War Mage, yes. Yeah, that's what, like, the comparison, yeah. Either increase my spell DC or spell to hit. Feeling lucky. Let me see. Is there anything? No, no, you don't. You don't get to decide that actually. No. No, it's up to fate. What does fudge mean? Those are fudge dice. They... It's used for a different system. Oh, okay. Typically. Yeah, never heard of it. It's a type of dessert. Oh, ooh, delicious. Yum. Mm. I, heard, I heard it gets really hot in desserts. What, like, like Actually, food? roll me a d20 also. I need to. Since okay. you're looking specific for something specific, you do have a chance. Okay, could, okay. It doesn't Here matter unless you get a nat 20, but if you get a nat 20, cool. you get something special. Okay. <gasps> Let's go! So, um, you wanted Nothing spell. bad happens to Leopold. You wanted spell increase? Yeah, something makes my spells like right. more likely to there land. There are two options. Let me find the other one. I have one of them selected. I just need to grab the other one real quick. Always be greedy, always push your luck. Don't get it twisted, you will <laughs> get Sorry, referencing a meme no one's gonna get. Was oh, oh well, like, like, like this meme where like is this guy who like runs some gambling websites like saying like don't get it twisted, mm -hmm. like you will lose money gambling, but someone like, edited it to make it sound like he's saying no, don't get it twisted, you will make money gambling. Everyone makes money gambling, no one loses money gambling. <laughs> <laughs> If you walk into a casino, you will leave with more money. <laughs> if you walk into a casino, you will walk out with more money. <laughs> Casinos are designed to earn you money. <laughs> no. Like, in the original video, he's like, doing the exact opposite of someone just like, edited it to make a selling the opposite. <laughs> well, I can't find the other one, so I guess you just get this one. <laughs> um, the outfit will look a bit different, but for reference, it looks something similar to this. Oh, it's an outfit. Um, it is also a leather armor. Ooh! Uh, it is, no, I like this more. It is of black with gold accents. Uh, it has a purple lining, and um, it gives you plus one to spell attack. And it okay. has some other special effects that you'll get eventually if you attune to it. I will attune. Like, it it, yeah. op it opens up a Spell Thief Rogue if you wanted to reclass, or um, a couple other things. That's, oh, that's hot. I like that. Mm. So everything we bought we have to attune to, right? Uh, no. Yeah. The regular gotchas you don't have to attune to. Only if you roll nat 20 is it one that it takes attunement. Uh, do okay. I, can I wear both of oh. these things that I got today, or just one? Uh, you can keep both. You, you paid for both. Oh, that's, that's not... Wait, but, but can I wear both at the same time? No, you cannot wear both at the same time. Dang. Um, yeah, is this, oh, wait, does it does this... offer you a yeah? dagger that goes with it. Ooh. Or rather, uh, can a I... set of daggers that go with it. Similar to the shield, are they cursed? You, they are not cursed per se, but they are. Per se? They they are. They do reek of dark magic, or rather, uh, necromantic magic. Oh, Leofold does not care. Yeah, he's taking those. All right, that'll take. That'll cost you an extra two hundred. Okay, just deal. Like the shield. Okay, cool. I will get so, you those effects later. Oh hell yeah! I would so, not. I, Leo does not bat his eye touching like uh, like um. Like I think he knows better with cursed curse, but like with, like, like morally gray kind of stuff, like gray, like um, necromancy. He does not like bad an eye. What are you? 
what were you saying? Um, Sorry. Grando? Uh, I was going to ask if uh, if my outfit came with anything. Uh, only the special ones do. However, two of you have rolled it at this point, so I will allow the other ones to find other yeah. the other ones. Um, Grando, there is I mean, one for you druids. you did say that. If you want. Uh, though you already have the basically the, the same effect. It just, there is a special one. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna guess, uh, roll a d2, then a d100, and then a d20. Nah, nah, I, I, I've stopped fucking with y'all. I'll let y'all have it. Uh, Asher, <laughs> Asher and Leo, um, Asher and Hattie rolled two nat 20s. I'll allow the party to have access to the special shop. Yippee! The special shop? What's in the special shop? I, I go to Lucia with my two nines. I gotta tell you, this is pretty terrific. Well, those daggers look nice. Remember that? I'm just like, I thought someone with two wives would be happy. No, you mean someone with two knives. I gotta tell you, this is pretty terrific. <laughs> Where is so... so, you know what those knives do? No. Interesting. I know. About to find out. Alright, so... Um, it, just it, ignore any resemblance to any persons that this might look like. Um... This is a an armor that druids can wear. Poof. It counts okay. as um, half plate. Uh, it gives you the the plus one to spell attacks, and it the special item is um, I don't want to say a gravity hammer from Halo, but it is called a gravity hammer. How do I? Uh, and this gives you access to Circle of the Stars, Druid, if you wish to. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, that's a good one. I played one before IRL. They're really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? You are so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's even when she's not here. Sev always Damn. delivers quality content. <laughs> We're not gonna say that what she said, but <laughs> so. Oh, okay. I'm assuming cool. the hammer can only be used with the armor equipped. Yes. Damn. As much as I love the idea of the Warhammer, I I'm not sure if the. Okay, wait, hold on. Does half plate? What does half plate give me in terms of AC? Hold on. I think it's fifteen up to plus uh, yeah. Dex up to Cap a two. plus two. Yeah, so seventeen. What well, fan your AC? Uh, so, let's see, is this a 16 plus 2? So that's an 18. 15 plus 2. Oh, 15 plus 2. I mean, I still get a, a net 1. Or, I mean, if you it. if you want the offer of the shield, I could make you a special shield to go with it. No. <laughs> I'm not going to make more shields. A uh, chat, for those of you who don't know, I'm obsessed with shields. Or like a good shield. Actually, Wait, Brando yeah. actually uses shields. <laughs> I do. I do use a shield. Also, Michael I have a very shields. important question. Yes. So, is the hammer a two-handed weapon or is it a versatile weapon? Um, it's versatile technically. Um. Yeah. No, it is versatile. Uh. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll. I'll I guess I'll take it. I'll. I'll fork over the money. All right. All right. How much? Uh, how much? Is, how much is it? Two hundred plus gotcha price. All right. Two hundred plus gotcha price. So that's uh minus two seventy five. Two seventy five. So. Okay. So. I have a grand total. A grand dat total of uh. Alright, 
so... Okay. There we go. I have I have forked over the Zimanis. The Manis. Zimanis. Zimunis. Zagunis. Alright, uh... I need to add the hat. Right, and let me see... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let me see if I have it still. Let me see if I have the art of it. Uh, there is one for, um, there is one that you might like, Lumi, if I can find it. Oi? Yeah, give me something. You gotta get this shit. Can I try rolling for, uh, Sev? Uh, Sev will have access to the shop, don't worry. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to give- Don't want, don't want her to be left out. Of, like while we're like rolling in probably like high tier magic items. So, okay, uh, let so... me see if I can find it. I would say Leo is probably beaming in like a like a sun because this is probably the nicest thing he's ever worn in his entire life. <laughs> this this armor is probably like <clears throat> it's probably worth more than his house, like like his family's house. <laughs> Both the armor and the, the new clothes. Tarakan's like, I have never imagined wearing such nice clothing before. I have a really it's nice cloak. Yeah, let's, let's, know, let's see if we can get something cool. Like, hold on. Like, yeah, it's like, let's see if we can get something magical, though. Like, Leo is just like, tr like, he is like riding this high. Like, he is riding high right now. Did I lose that art? Do I not have the art for the for the lamp ring? Where where is? Hmm. <clears throat> You guys are wondering what the what the cloak I look like. Yeah, I was, yeah, I like to see. Ooh, that's pretty. Really pretty. So, Bobo, how do you get into D and D, Lumi? How? Yeah. I've been trying to get into D and D. All the sessions I've been to is always a dud. Uh. It's so, like, I'm socially so... or like scheduling what? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't ask. Uh, scheduling. Uh, I guess, yeah. It's, it's, either, it's either me who becomes unavailable or the DM or some other players and then and then the campaign gets cooked. I've done a couple of one shots and um, I'm still pretty new to the right. game. I think I've been playing for like. Probably, oh crap, I just realized we'll say like two years now. Holy crap. I feel like I spend more time in character creator than actually playing. That's a mood. That is I've, that I've, is a lot of D and D. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I've ended up like <laughs> um, I probably like the next because I used to get, like yeah I probably spent like so much time like just looking at the character creator options I probably like made a character for like every single class without realizing it. Yeah. Yeah, playing this character in um IRL, I'm playing a campaign with uh as a Warforged barbarian. Oh, oh nice. Um... Yeah. There it is. What is it? All right. So here, let me just send it to the DMV chats. Um, so there is a set of armor made for samurais. Oh, that's so cool. Um, and it, oh, comes, it comes with a kind of uh, Oni mask that you can wear. Uh, with the extra Oof. that uh, allows you to uh, life steal with some of your attacks a certain amount of times per day. Is this considered armor, though? Uh, it is an armor that works for monks. Oh. Oh, monks. Really? 
Uh, it's specifically made for monk and samurai fighter. Oh, that looks so pretty. All right, so 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 what are the? It has life steal. Uh, the mask will uh, uh gives you uh some life steal options once you uh get attuned to it properly. I see. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing I'm just scrounging around and I notice upon it. Yeah. Okay. How much would that be? Uh, it would be if you want the mask and the armor, it would be two hundred plus plus the gotcha price, and uh, it counts as studded leather, and then you get to add your monk bonuses technically. Or okay. You get to add your wisdom, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. So that would be uh, two seventy-five, right? Mm-hmm. I'll take it. What's it called? <laughs> it's called <laughs> the Armor of the Lamprey Knight. Armor of Lamprey Knight. Looks great on you. Um... Oh, well. right. yeah. And we well, are uh, dripped out. That was eventful. Yeah. I was just looking to get some flour today. Wait, do we get any potions? Oh. Uh, you, you, <laughs> if you have gold left, you can buy potions and stuff. Um, Rakan. Yeah. Do you want me to subtract the money and give Belf the 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 S tier armor that they that they had in, as their option? Yes. Okay. Cool. I'll I'll have to. I know what it looks like, but I'll have to give you the image later, because uh, I don't okay, have okay. it saved on my phone. Um, yeah. Also, can I run to the food stall and buy some flour real quick? Of course. Uh, okay. Five copper for okay for a bag. I'll get one gold worth one gold coins worth of flour. Holy shit! That's like uh, that. That's a lot. So for one, okay, so well, um, actually, no, I'll, or fifty silver. How about that? Fifty silver. Fifty sil. Jesus Christ! It's only five I'm copper ready. for a bag. Well, let's wait. Oh, I can't do. Okay, let's do ten silver then. Sorry. Ten, ten silver. That's one gold piece. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Um. So let's five see. silver. Five silver. Okay, so. Sorry, I forgot how it works for a second. So that's ten pounds of flour. Yep, that's just stuff that away for a little surprise I'm working on. And is there anything else anyone would like to buy? How many potions mm. do we have? Oh, elusive. Um, Sorry, I didn't see yet that you redeemed that. Elusive, you're such a good girl. All right. Anyways, back to the game. Back to what's important. So, back, back I don't have game. I don't have any potions on hand, so how much do those cost? Potions are their base price. So uh for just a standard potion it'll be fifty gold. Fifty. So I have four fifty left. Should I just <sighs> buy nine? You could. Oh wait. Uh I'll buy eight. All right. I'll buy uh, two. All right. Because there's three then. Where do I put my items? Oh, right here. They already had one. So, how much is a healing potion? Fifty gold pieces. Or uh, how much do they heal? Uh. That's 2d4. 2d4. Or, no, it's 2d4. 2d4. 2d4, yeah, sorry, I can't. 2d4. Okay. Plus just 2d4. 2, I believe. Plus 6? Yeah, 2d4 plus 2. Okay. I don't know why I got 2d8 from. I can have. I'll, I'll purchase two healing potions, too. Alright. And are we using a standard rule of um bonus action to drink? Or no, the house rule of bonus action to drink, um, mm -hmm. action to feed? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
or bonus action to get partial he uh, to roll the dice. Uh, main action okay. to get full healing from it. Rather okay. Than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Leo is jazz. He is on top of the world right now in his mind. Celsius happy too. <laughs> we look amazing. Mm -hmm. Wait, so how does attunement work? Um, you spend a long rest attuning to it, and you have three attunement slots total. Three attunement slots. So, so if I... you attune to this, you can only attune to two more items, and then um, you have to spend another long rest to unattune it if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, and the lady told me that this cloak isn't attuna, uh, attuned either, so I can still do two more. Mm. All right. Well, if there's nothing else y'all wish to buy, um, I will call it there for tonight, only because I have more packing and cleaning I need to do. Yeah. Okay, Leo's gonna make sure nice. um, Bell is fed. Well, now um, Zach has to. Zach has to. Well, now I guess Zach. I'll have to, I'll have to steal Zach to... at some point on Saturday and, and make Zach yeah. do. do, do do the bargain, I guess. <laughs> that and he also you one for the team, champ. He doesn't even know it. Also, I want to ask just in case, uh, is the thing I asked earlier about with the whole like making a deal technically with Belf is that something I don't have to worry about right now? Or am you I don't going have to, to worry about it session? right now? Right we'll, now. We'll, 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 we'll DM about it. We'll DM about it. Okay. And okay. And, and, um, and um, I'm, I'm gonna oh, go ahead. I'll see, you'll send us the details on armor later? Yeah, I can send you all the effects that you get from each one. Yes! Okay. And I assume... Again. I assume we're attuning by the yeah. time next session happens? Yeah, you'll be attuned happens. by next session. Yay. And, um, I, I have a question. Uh, so... Ne so the next session is Saturday at 8 a.m. That's CST, not the right? session session. That's, uh, that's this class. Is like, uh, that's classes. Yeah. Oh, then the next the session session? session will be next Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm looking forward to this. This is amazing. But I guess that does give away a little bit of a, a not so secret. Um, chat, if you wish to live out your dream of going to fantasy college, Saturday at what time do we agree? Like eight, nine. Eight. Eight, 8 to 9 CST. Or, or not 8 a.m. Yeah. 8 a.m. CST. We will be doing VTuber D&D Curriculum of Dragons Extra Credit Class 2. Last time we did um, a bit of Arcano Zoology. This we time we'll the, be doing Arcano Botany. The Terra Let's go. Um, Wait. I'll seven notes from that class. Wait, what's this? What? Oh wait, the session or the extracurricular? Oh, um, the extra credit classes are a little mini series I'm doing, which is basically just uh, lore letting dumps. let lore dumps and letting chat see what I've been doing with oh, like what your classes example, um, would be like, basically. The, the first one was like um talking about like, these um spider creatures that like um are like har or like um like a really big like cultural um importance in the setting. Alright. But with that, I will bid you all adieu. Let's see, who can we write? Um... Let me look at my list of people. I have a friend who's... Oh, wait. Uh, never mind. Alright, I know where I'm taking y'all. I know where I'm taking y'all. He will take uh, good care of y'all. Will he be our new dad? No. Oh. Oh. Mine still hasn't come back with the milk. Mine's still getting cigarettes. <laughs> Alright. I will Fine. I will take y'all to see my friend Chase, treat him nicely, and uh have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. Bye everyone. Bye bye.